What is up guys, Kyla PDCG here today talking about this new Island Collection GX box thing, whatever it's called. Um, this is huge for us in the US. Um, so this box, was re uh, the image of it was released in Italy. Um, so this is an Italian product, but basically it has a jumbo card of Tapu Lele GX, the Tapu Lele GX. Um, and a promo Tapu Lele GX, and it is the good one. Um, you can tell by the big cards that it has Tapu here, um, and an ability and an attack like Energy Drive. Um, you can't really read the other two things, but you can tell this is the same card. Um, it also features a Tapu Fini, which is, again, the same Tapu Fini card that we already have. Um, and these are both different arts. Um, personally, I like this art of Tapu Lele better, and the old art of Tapu Fini better. Um, but that is just me. Um, and there may also be, similar to the like Espeon Umbreon box that we had, there's probably also a version where instead of like the pink on the box, it's mostly blue, and then there's a Tapu Fini um, promo. Um, like, big promo. Um, that's my guess that's something that could be released. Um, and then, it does appear to have five packs. So, the obvious ones that you can see here are Evolutions, Guardians Rising, and Ultra Prism. I'm not sure why Evolutions, because no one wants that. And it's old. Like, by the time this box is released, Evolutions won't even be standard anymore. So I don't know why they're still putting it in these boxes, but, you know, we get a Tapu Lele in this box, so sacrificing basically a pack to get a wonderful promo card is, um, amazing. Um, something else we see is the other two packs. There's a Blasphalion and a Lugia pack, and the, this is not something we've seen yet. But the next, the um, Sun and Moon 8 set in Japan has a Lugia and Blasphalion GX in it. So we are likely to see, um, similar to Japan's Sun and Moon 8 set, um, be our next set with Lugia and Blasphalion um, pack arts. But it is pretty cool to see new pack arts that we don't even have yet. Um, it doesn't have Forbidden Light or Celestial Storm in it, which still like bewilders me. Like, the evolutions could be Forbidden Light or Celestial Storm. The Guardians Rising is fine. Um, Ultra Prism's okay. Um, but, like, there's an evolutions in this set, which is not gonna be... Which is probably gonna be expanded by the time this comes out. And there's two sets that aren't in this that are newer. Like, I, I don't know. It just bewilders me. Another cool thing about this... Actually, two cool things about this are... This means that the price of Tapu Lele GX will probably be very lower. Um, if I had to guess, this box is probably going to be released for $30. Could be $35, could even be $40. Um, but I'm going to say this is probably going to be $30-ish um, for retail stores. Um, and the So this is going to be cheaper than... Buying this box is going to be cheaper than buying Tapu Lele's right now. Probably. I'm saying that's just a guess, but probably buying this box is going to be cheaper than buying Tapu Lele's now. Also, we cannot see the retreat cost or weakness or resistance or anything below that. Now, those two, those things don't matter, but what does matter is the set number. Because this is likely to be a alternate art, you know, where it just says, like, Guardians Rising 60 and... Burning Shadows, whatever, I don't remember if Tabu Fini's number. Um, A, and it'll have an A by it, and then it'll have like a weird yellow A next to that. Which means it's an alternate reprint, and it gains the same legality as the old versions. But, it could also mean that these could be promos. Which means that they're likely to stick around a little bit longer. Um... Because, 
I'm guessing that the first rotation, when Sun and Moon is out, like, when it's just Sun and Moon, the first rotation is probably going to be Sun and Moon through Crimson Invasion, which eliminates Tapu Lele, um, and Tapu Fini. But, it is an amazing card. So, they could leave it as a, um, as a new promo, so that it'll be legal until whatever this next set after Celestial Storm is. Or, maybe Celestial Storm, or I don't, I don't know when this is going to be released in the U.S. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, and these cards haven't even been seen like the art. Hasn't even been seen in Japan yet, so it, they're most likely to appear in the um, their Ultra GX Shiny set or whatever it's called, um, where I think it's just like the sets that they have often, where it's like all the best cards as different arts and stuff. Um, that's my guess. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, this is super exciting. Um, the task, the ties. What am I saying? The price of Tapu Lele will probably be a lot lower once this releases, um, which is really good for new players, and I feel like the um, TCPI is doing a really good job of releasing a lot of the good cards um, that are needed to play as promos, sometimes exclusively, which is kind of obnoxious, but like they had that Rockruff, that was a promo, so you could pick the, rock, the good Rockruff up as a promo. Zorark GX is a promo. Um, Zo uh, not Zorark, I just said that. Tapu Koko promo. Um, March Shadow GX, Ho GX, and Acrosma GX are promos. Same for Dawn Wings and Solgalia, or not Solgalia, um, Duskmane, Necrozma. Um, those are promos. Um, a lot of the good playable cards from sets are released as League promos and um, pre release promos. Uh, you know, the new Duskman and new Donlings cards have been released in, like, a, collect a Collector's Tin, um, Buzzle GX, Circuitry GX, Cell Seal GX for promos, same for Savali, you know. There's just, I, I can list a lot of more things. This is a good example. Um, they're doing a pretty good job of not making their promo cards trash, and being able, um, making it so that players who can not afford to buy things, like a $40 single card, can get them easier now. Um, I feel like your like a junior, their parents are more likely to buy them this box than a single card. Um, and it probably is gonna be a better deal than the single card. Um, so I really like that that's what they're doing. Um, people were kinda um, wanting Shaman to be released as a promo. Um, and while it is, that doesn't really count, because it was a promo after it was already rotated, um, and the price had already gone down. So now I feel like they're doing a pretty good job of making, um, a lot of playable cards, um, easier to get for newer players, players who don't want to spend money on singles, players who can't spend money on singles, um, players who just primarily buy sealed anyway, um, they're just, I like that they're doing a lot of new, um, products with playable cards in them. Um, and yeah, that is my opinion on this, and yeah, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more competitive Pokemon TCG content. Typically, it's more geared towards decks, but sometimes I'll do news. I'm actually doing, probably, gonna be doing two news videos in a row, just because of some things that have been, um, announced. Um... But anyway, leave a like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.